Hi everyone. So what we're working on today is really just an extension of what we did yesterday. Um, so you're looking for this sheet in your homework packet. This is not even in your notes packet. This is one of your homework assignments. And I think what I'll do is just do one example in each section of this to show you what I want you to do with it. And then your job will just be to finish it up. Okay. So we're reviewing perimeter and area, which I know feels like a throwback to geometry, but um, we're using polynomials to do it. So with this first one, if I'm being asked to find the perimeter of the polygon, remember perimeter means the distance all the way around the figure. And you always find that just by adding up the sides. So with this one, if I wanted to find the perimeter, I would do, um, best place to put this, I guess is right here, 4y cubed plus 4y cubed plus 4y cubed minus 4. And you may want to work through these on a separate sheet. It's kind of awkwardly spaced. but um, So all I did was take this, this, and this and add them all together because that's what you do for perimeter. So now when I go to add my like terms, these are all like terms. Remember when you're adding you do not change the exponents. You just count up how many you have. So here's 4, 8, 12. So these three together would become 12y cubed. And then this minus 4 hanging out on the end can't be combined with anything else. So there's your final answer, 12y cubed minus 4. That's all you have to do for perimeter. It's just add up the, you're just going to write it out as an addition problem, and then you're going to add up the like terms, OK? Now let's talk about area. And actually, I think I'm going to be mean on the area and not do one of these, because they really only gave you three of them to do, and there's only one of each shape. So I'm going to make one up here that's similar to number five. Okay. So you can go ahead and jot this one down on your homework assignment if you want, or on the back, or you can just follow along. Um, let's suppose I gave you this triangle. And I told you this was 2x plus 1, and this was 4x. Uh, we'll just make it 4x, OK? So I should write that a little closer, 4x. So think about how you find area of a triangle. And it actually tells you on the other side that area is 1 half base times height. Well, here's your base, here's your height. So what I'm really doing is 1 half times 2x plus 1 times 4x. Now, I see a lot of mistakes with people working with this 1 half. So here's what I'm going to suggest, going to suggest. Skip it for now. Just do these. OK, start with that. So I'm going to leave that 1 half hanging out there in front. Now this, since this is just a monomial, it's just a single term, all I really have to do is distribute it, OK? So 4x times 2x, or you could think of it as 2x times 4x, doesn't matter. That's going to be 8x squared. And then 1 times 4x is 4x. OK, um, and I can't combine those two in there. Now what I want to do is take that 1 half and distribute it in. And remember, if this were like a 5 out here, and I was distributing the 5 in, I would just go 5 times 8, 5 times 4, and that'd be it. I'm going to do the same thing with the 1 half. So I'm just doing 1 half times 8, which is 4, but then that 1 half does not change that exponent at all. It's just 4x. Whoops. There I go making it change. Um, it would just stay x squared. If I have 8x squared and I cut it in half, now I have 4x squared. And 1 half times 4x, 1 half times 4 is 2. And so this would just become a 2x. And this here would be my final answer for area. Now, what I do want to point out is triangles are the only one that have a 1 half in them, or at least the only one on this page that has a 1 half in the area. When you go to do, say, for example, this rectangle down here at number 6, it up for you a little bit. When you go to do this rectangle down here at number six, you won't be multiplying by one half. Your area there is just length times width, so you're just multiplying this times this. 
okay? For your square, I know they tell you it's side squared. Remember, that's really the same as this. Just the only difference is in a square, both of your side lengths are the same. But you're still really just doing this times this. Okay? Um, so your only assignment for today is to um, finish 2 through 7 here. Um, the top half is doing perimeter, the bottom half is doing area, and we will check this for credit in class tomorrow.